one thing you may have noticed in our self-driving car code and earlier is that we always declare Boolean variables like is like green at the very top of our code, before and outside of our if statement block of code. And this is because of something called variable scope. Variable scope is the block or range of code where a certain variable can be used and referred to. In this case, we needed to use our variable is like green in our if test condition. And so the scope of is like green has to contain this whole if statement. And by declaring is like green outside of any curly braces or conditions, we make it available to our whole program. So our whole program is its scope. And remember that we also have to declare variables before we can use them in our code. And that's why our test condition variable is always declared before we use it in our decision making code. But what if we instead declare a variable inside our if statement, inside its curly braces? Like this variable, double car speed, that keeps track of our car's speed. Let's set it equal to 100, and this is going to be in kilometers per hour, so that's about 60 miles per hour. Then the scope of our car speed variable will only be the code inside these curly braces. In fact, a set of curly braces defines a particular variable scope. So inside this scope, we can use the variable car speed, and we are by printing it out. But if we try to refer to that variable outside of these curly braces, we can't. Like if after the last curly brace of our if statement, we try to reduce our car speed by 10. This will actually cause your computer to generate an error message. And that looks something like this, cannot resolve symbol car speed. And we'll learn more about errors later. But just know that this will cause an error because our program can't access the variable car speed outside of its scope. You can think of variable scope as if it were a wall or boundary whose sides are defined by these curly braces. All the variables declared inside these walls, like car speed in this boundary, can be accessed inside the scope bounds. But once you leave the wall boundary and go outside the curly braces even just a little, these variables can no longer be accessed. So our car speed variable, which is declared inside the if statement's curly braces, has a small scope, a small bounding wall that doesn't reach outside the if block of code. But is like green, which we declared outside of any curly braces, has a big scope, a larger wall that contains our whole program. And this lets us use and refer to our is light green variable in our test condition. So keep this in mind as you write your if statements.